what is up everyone my name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at the HBQ i7 TWS Bluetooth earphones so we're going to get into the features but it's also an honest review where I'm going to be talking about the sound quality and other important things regarding the headphones so without further ado let's get right into the video so to start off these earphones come in a charging case this case has a micro USB port which charges both the case and the headphones when the headphones run out of power, you simply press this button and the case will recharge them, which is a cool feature if you ask me. So when you want to charge the case and the headphones, you just plug in a micro USB and this will flash red. And in here, these headphones will glow red, which means that they are charging. And if you want to know if your headphones are charging after you press the button, just open up the case and you can see that they are also glowing red in here this also means that the headphones are now charging which is also very handy because you will always know if they're charging or not so you will never have anything like how are my headphones out of battery life i just charge them now getting into the headphones themselves Size wise they are great and actually stay in your ears fine. When you turn them on by holding the power button on both earphones they will pair and connect to each other and after that you can connect them to your device via bluetooth. So you can see that they flashed and now one of them stopped flashing that means that they are paired and now this one will continue to flash until you connect a bluetooth device. To connect them to your device simply go to bluetooth search for the i7 TWS. Your device is connected. You will hear a device is connected coming from your earphones and now they are connected to your bluetooth device. Now the buttons on the earphones also have features. Clicking them once will either play or pause whatever is playing. Clicking twice will call back your most recent call. Clicking once while being called will pick up the call and holding the button will actually decline the call. Holding the button on either one of these earphones will actually skip to the next song. And to turn them off, simply hold down one of the buttons or both of them. Holding that down will let you hear power off and then they will both be disabled and they will be off completely. Now the battery life promised is about 5 hours. But in my opinion and for what I've seen they will probably last for like 1 hour, 1 and a half hours, something like that. And... Um, that's before you have to recharge them which is fine if you don't need them for a long period but if you want to use them for a while it's not gonna work out the sound quality uh, I can let you hear it it's not really great it sounds like a late 1990s TV set in my opinion So are these headphones any good? Well in my opinion if you need them for simple usage I wouldn't mind if they break or get stolen then yes. They are perfect for that but if you're looking for good headphones that will last and are reliable at least then no you're better off buying a brand earphones that are a little more expensive. So anyways this was my honest review I hope it was helpful in any way and if it was don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you all later. Peace out.